Hello everyone. Hello and welcome to the Tilde webinar. Let me make sure that we are live. If you can already see and hear me, please put the little plus in the chat next to the <clears throat> to the live stream so that we are sure that everything is fine and we can start. I'm checking myself here as well. Yeah, looks like the Yes, looks like everything is fine. So welcome Welcome everyone uh, to the Tilda Getting Started webinar. I'm very happy to welcome you here. My name is Elizabeth and I work in Tilda. And uh, today, yes, today we are going to discuss what is Tilda, why it exists, it exists and how it can help you to create your own website presence, whatever project you create. Great. Uh, yeah, I can see the first uh, pluses, can recognize people. Uh, Thank you very much for visiting us. Uh, it's my colleagues, uh, yes. Uh, so, before we start, uh, while people are joining, uh, just a couple of uh, things uh, for you to know. First of all, uh, I would like to tell you that in case you have registered to this webinar, you will receive the full recording of this webinar tomorrow uh, in your inbox. If you did not, uh, register and you just um, happen to um, uh, to come to the webinar using the direct link or whatever a source in this case you still can watch this webinar in the recording just by using the same link that is open now in your browser so you can just keep it uh, yeah um, copy and paste it somewhere otherwise uh, even better option uh, for you is just uh, to subscribe to the Tilda channel on the YouTube and then you will be able to come back and uh, watch any other uh, webinars that we have on the channel and there are several of them and there will be more so I strongly recommend you to uh, subscribe. Nice. Uh, another thing that I want uh, to mention here is that today's webinar uh, we are planning to to spend about one hour, uh, one hour and a half, depending on your question. So just for you to, uh, to know how to plan your time, it's going to last for one, one and a half hours. All right. And the last thing uh, is my question to you. Uh, so I will be very happy if you share your location or tell me where are you watching us from. Uh, that's always very interesting to know the ge uh, geography of, uh, of the, of the uh, viewers and listeners and uh, we are uh, about to start with this so first things first this webinar is for the is for people who are not very much um, aware of what is tilde i suppose because this is the webinar designed for the starters so in case you already know how to use tilde or you feel pretty much confident this webinar still can be beneficial to you in order to see maybe you don't know some of the features uh, maybe you will discover still something new but overall I will be uh, discussing Tilda uh, for the beginners so that you know that uh, in case you are a pro you can ask your questions and questions are very welcome uh, about everything from zero blog to design features to online marketing features there are a lot of things to ask about I guess um, so yeah the questions are very welcome and I will be uh, monitoring the chat next to me uh, and yeah uh, answer all of them so please feel free and ask whatever is interesting for you great oh thank you for sharing your location Sweden Latvia very nice uh, cool so let's see uh, what is the plan for today? I will uh, tell you in brief what is Tilda, how it works, okay? How to create websites from scratch or from uh, pre-designed templates. Then a very important block is number three, how to customize blocks and edit the content uh, of your page. How to create unique blocks. This has to do with the zero block web design editor uh, built into Tilda. Then we will see a little bit of uh, what are the features for collecting leads and selling products in case you want to create uh, a landing page or an online store. I will show you a little bit of those um, features. Then after you can uh, go and um, 
or see other tutorials a little bit more advanced on that topics. Okay, um, yeah, we'll cover how to launch media and blogs, how to evaluate the performance of your page, which is very important using the analytics and the statistics built into Tilda and also a third party services and how to prepare a website for launch and promotion. Good. So, uh, Tilda. Tilda is a no-code website builder, which is even not strictly website builder, but I would say a website building platform because you can create many types of projects on Tilda. And now we will see what kind of projects you can create. But the important thing is that no code is involved. So that means that you can use Tilda even if you are not a developer and even if you are not a designer because Tilda is made for people who have nothing to do with the web design, uh, for professionals who want, for example, to create their portfolios. For example, you create uh, musical instruments or you're selling online courses, but you don't know much about graphics designer, the, uh, graphics uh, editors or web design, but still uh, you can use Tilda and you will be able to uh, figure out how to, how to make a nice, nice looking and effective website. All right, so what kind of projects and now uh, what kind of websites can you create on Tilda? First of all, landing pages. What is a landing page? Land landing page is a one page website designed uh, to motivate a person, a visitor to perform a certain action. So there is a call to action so-called uh, section always. Sometimes there are several of them. Uh, it can look like a, a button like you see here, join now button or uh, make an order or uh, subscribe to conference for example and for this tilde is very strong because we have a very strong seo settings i will explain later later what's that but in brief your website will be uh, ranking high on google results uh, google uh, search results and also um, all the pre-designed blocks you need to create a nice uh, nicely looking landing pages out there so in case you have a landing page in mind don't hesitate and ask me questions uh, about that today then uh, a typical multi-page website for a business or for a company for an enterprise this is totally possible to create on tilde um yeah what is that it's a it's something that we all know uh it's a uh, for example like think of a big company i don't know and nike for example right so you have a a first page like with a with a big cover and then you have some inner pages uh about the company um maybe portfolio maybe our works maybe promotions and so on and so forth so the idea is that, that you have one main page and then many inner so-called inner pages right uh, for a business. Online stores, um, uh, what many people ask, uh, can I create an online store on Tilda in this country or in that country? So just for you to know that online stores created on Tilda can be used worldwide. Why? Because you can connect the, um, the payment services and accept payments, uh, literally from everywhere in the world so it doesn't matter where you are based to create an online store on tilda and it doesn't matter where your customers are based uh right uh so yes then blogs and multimedia projects this is also a, a very nice yes it's a very nice um type of websites that more and more people are creating and some of them are using using it for business indeed uh, like a multimedia project for example can be used uh, by a journalist to tell a story in a modern way engaging way using a lot of animation a lot of visuals videos infographics and nicely um, nicely edited text um, some original layouts and so on as well as blogs, obviously but also uh, this kind of projects people are making uh, just for for fun i mean I, I i'm noticing lately that a lot of people are having this as a hobby you know to create um a nice long read uh for a given topic uh, for example or you can make a presentation like the one that you are now uh looking at uh this presentation was also created on tilde and um yeah so each page was broken into the slides and i'm just uh yeah pressing up and down arrow keys on the keyboard to switch uh, from one slide to another 
personal website. Of course, this is also possible to create. Uh, so basically, personal website can be uh, any type of website. It's up to you. Uh, this is the example of a web design portfolio, uh, very sophisticated, uh, created with a lot of animation and uh, interactions uh, and so on. But you can also uh, create a nice personal website if you are a professional, as we discussed uh, before. For example, you're creating something and you want to sell, uh, you're making, I don't know, toys or handmade stuff. Uh, so you can totally create a website for you, connect some payment systems and uh, yeah, tell the world about you and let people know that you exist uh, and maybe make uh, some income out of that. Okay, uh, now let's uh, talk about how actually you create your website. Like, how does it work? So, Tilda works um, in the following way. There is a big block library with almost 600 responsive blocks. So, what is a block? A block is basically a section uh, for your website. So, imagine a, a website page. Uh, what do you see first? First is a cover page or a hero section. Right? Then you scroll, you keep scrolling. Uh, then there is another section, for example, about us, right? With some text, some photos, then you scroll and there is an online form inviting you, for example, to uh, to sign up for a webinar, right? Or for a conference. Uh, this is another section and all these sections can be plenty. Uh, yeah, lots of different types of them and lots of different designs. Uh, so until they are called blocks and there are plenty of pre-designed blocks, which is great because you don't need to think about little um, little design mistakes that you can make if you would assign element by element. If you would just add text and then add a background photo yourself, you will have to think, oh, uh, what is the size of the photo? What is the uh, resolution? What is the size of the text? The spacing, etc., etc. So with pre-designed blocks, you are free to um, to concentrate and to focus on the content that you want to use, so on the yeah the text, the copy that you want to um, to paste, and the message that you want to transmit, rather than all the all of these design uh, little details that the Tilda designers already thought for you. Okay, so basically you take these um, blocks from the library. Uh, they are nicely divided into twenty five categories. Um, based on the type of the of the section you add them to your page and then you customize the contents and then you publish your page as easy as that the interface is quite intuitive and doesn't require a lot of uh, a lot of knowledge like zero knowledge i would say zero previous knowledge uh, right then how do you edit actually now well, once you or uh, once you have added a uh, a block to your page then you need to modify its content, obviously. So to modify text, you just click on a text and start typing, as you can see on this uh, image here on this video. Uh, images is a drag and drop technology that is familiar, I guess, to the majority of you. You just pick a picture from uh, or a web, uh, an image or an illustration, whatever you need, um, and, and drop it to the background, for example, here on this here uh, on this hero section um, example, right? Uh, so you can upload pictures like that, and then you modify the buttons, and you can modify a lot of things in the settings tab that I will show you uh, in a moment. Nice. So, do you create the web page out of blocks, or you can already start from the pre-designed template? Both scenarios are possible. Until that, you have access to more than 220 website templates for many different uh, types of businesses, for many different types of projects um, that are already thought through. So the whole structure is already very solid and you don't need to think not only about design, but also about the structure. Um, another um, nice scenario to use the website template is when you're in a hurry when for example you work in a marketing uh, department and you need to publish a landing page as soon as possible because the conference is tomorrow right um you don't really have time to 
think and to make your design as sophisticated as possible it doesn't matter anymore because you need to do something in two hours and using the templates you can uh, build a website literally in two hours uh, we even have some uh, webinars where we are building websites uh, within one hour and launching it from the template of course but the templates are nice and yeah i advise you to uh, have a look at them right uh, so there are different categories of the templates landing pages uh, online stores portfolios contact pages etc i will show it all uh, inside tilda because as soon as i tell you the basics then we switch into tilda interface and i will um, give you a little walkthrough all right uh, so the templates then uh, in case you're a designer or you are an aspiring designer or you want to become a designer um, then you may use zero block so what is zero block on tilda i have told you that uh, there there is a big uh, library with a lot of pre-designed blocks and next to that we have a built-in web design editor editor which is called zero block excuse me <clears throat> so this web design editor <clears throat> is designed for professionals uh, mainly but also can be used by uh, beginners what can you do you can basically create your your own unique blocks because you have no limitations you have nothing pre-designed and uh, you design without limits then also i have told you that uh, the pre-designed blocks are responsive so all the blocks from the library uh, they look good by default on any screen be it a mobile phone or a huge 4k monitor or just a normal desktop screen the the pre-designed blocks from the library adapt the, the, their design their layout is adapted automatically to the screen on zero block however you have the option to design and to decide uh, about the layout for each resolution so you can add breakpoints or you can use the five um, uh, basic uh, standard resolutions and yeah tweak the design as much as you want then there is an auto scaling um, this means that uh, yeah as you can see here on this uh, little video uh, you 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 move the the basically you change the size of your browser and the design adapts accordingly um, you have custom grids and rulers to help you design you have layers you have element grouping you have um, group animation you have gradients and visual filters already pre uh, installed into into tilde so for example you can uh, blur the background color or background uh, image uh, and also the a very important feature is the automatic import from figma so in case you are a designer and you uh, create layouts in figma then you can automatically you don't need to do anything um, manually you can automatically import your layout into tilde into zero block and then after a couple of adjustments like for example adding some links to the buttons uh, just publish the website right away it saves a lot of time okay and then there is a new feature that i will show you today and that is not yet in this presentation which is the vector editor so zero on zero block you can also create and modify vectors which is quite cool yeah then animation tools so tilda as i told you uh, there are many people who are creating stunning multimedia projects and features um, and many of those uh, they use animation why because animation is uh, is a, yeah is something that is very easy to use and then you can create really outstanding designs that would be yeah that would make your that will make your website stand out of the crowd so until there is a there are two types of animation two major types let's say basic animation these are the pre-designed effects that you see here on this slide um, these are the effects for the standard blocks and also for zero, some, some of the elements of the zero block. Uh, these effects uh, allow your content to appear in a non-trivial manner, uh, like you can see. 
Then there is a step-by-step -step animation, and this is a completely custom animation that you create step-by-step, -step. that's why it's called like that. Uh, and with that, you can create like whatever you, you, you want. Like, this is one of the examples, and we have a huge web animation um, guide uh, with a lot of examples and a lot of templates, animated templates that you can use for your uh, projects. Also, there is an interactive animation, uh, meaning that uh, when a person interacts with your content, with a piece of a content of your website, something else happens. Like when you hover over the text in this example, an image appears, right? Uh, and the mobile animation is also um, available. And you don't need, the good news is that you don't need to recreate the animation for the mobile. Uh, even if you create a very complex step-by-step -step animation on zero block, it's just... Uh, one button that you need to uh, basically uh, click in order to allow the effect to uh, perform on the mobile screens. But you can also switch it off in order to uh, make your websites load faster. Right, then for the uh, marketing folks or for everyone who needs to um, collect the data from your visitors, um, we have plenty of marketing tools, namely uh, online forms, Obviously, with two, 20, uh, 22 or tw uh, yeah, 20 plus, uh, it's written here, uh, I guess it's 22 plus types of online form input fields, meaning that you can add an online form and ask your visitors for their name, email address, uh, random questions, um, yeah, and collect their data, right? Phone number, etc. Then you can also create polls and quizzes and you can uh, connect more than 20 integrated data collection services. So this, this, these services will receive actually the submissions that your website uh, visitors uh, send you when they fill out the, uh, the application forms or the online forms that you have. Okay, and among these uh, data collection services, there is uh, Slack, Notion, uh, Salesforce, and Pulse, uh, Zapier, HubSpot CRM, so many CRM systems, uh, also email marketing uh, services, and built-in tilde CRM that I will mention a bit uh, later, etc. So there, there is a, a wide variety of services that you can use. Right, uh, this is the, uh, the slide about the free built-in tilde CRM. So CRM is the system that allows you to manage leads, collect and manage leads. Uh, and there is one built into Tilda. You can use this one uh, for free or uh, you can use any other one that you're already using, for example, HubSpot or Monday.com. Uh, but on the free built-in Tilda CRM, what you can do, you can uh, manage, uh, add or edit funnel stages. Uh, you can comment on the submissions. You can lead. Um, uh, you can uh, you can have a statistics and analytics for the lead and submissions, customer history and teamwork is also possible. So you can work uh, being yeah, a, a team of uh, several people and assign certain leads to certain people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right. Then for the for those who want to create online stores and sell something online, and it's not necessarily yeah well per catalog is for online stores, but until then you can also create a website and add a shopping cart or just add a um, a payment system uh, so that it will give you the possibility to receive payments, uh, and you can just sell like one or two items, and uh, then you don't need a product catalog. But in case you are uh, really making an online store and you have a big stock of many goods or services to sell, then you can automate uh, the pro uh, the process, uh, right? And this is uh, what the dashboard looks, uh, the dashboard of the product catalog. So you just, it, it's all built in, just like till the CRM. Uh, the product catalog is built in free uh, service uh, with the, yeah, using which you can import products uh, if you already have like a CSV file, for example, and export them as well. Um, then you can automatically uh, keep track of your stock, right? You can add uh, products manually um, and yeah, do many other things. Uh, so just keep in mind uh, the product catalog is available until now. Uh, for the website statistics, uh, what you can 
track right on Tilda. Uh, so all the basics, all the essentials necessary to check if your website or web page is doing well, if it's really performing as it was expected, or you need to do some modifications and some changes. So what you, uh, what you can uh, track here is uh, views and sessions, right? Uh, how, how many people actually visited your website and when. Uh, leads and conversions, meaning how many people actually clicked uh, on the buttons you wanted them to click. Um, and popular pages, what pages receive more visits than others. Events, traffic sources, so where people are coming from to your website. And if this is not enough, you can always, of course, connect Google Analytics and then have the full uh, spectrum of advanced analytic tools from Google. Right. Online store owners, you also have a dedicated statistics page with the uh, design for e-commerce, right? Uh, where you can see the total sales, total orders, conversion rates, average order value, uh, repeat purchase rate, uh, channels again, and even ABC and XYZ analytics. Right. Uh, the another service which is a built-in uh, service on Tilda is a service for blogging which is called feeds and what it gives you uh, basically gives you the unlimited number of blog posts right uh, because yeah just in, in a couple of minutes I will show you um, the limits of the of the uh, Tilda websites and uh, in terms of the number of pages that you can have on a website uh, depending on the on, on the plan, on the subscription that you choose. But here, uh, for the blog posts, so basically they are the mm, light versions of the pages. Um, they have some necessary mm, uh, tool set, uh, but not everything, right? Uh, so it's kind of a light version of a, of a page. And of those pages, you can have as many as you want, which allows you to blog uh, for many years. Uh, without, uh, yeah, without uh, ex ex exceeding the um, your website capacities, right? Then you can schedule also your blog posts. Uh, you can divide them in different content categories, uh, and Turbo Pages and AMP uh, is also available. Nice. Obviously, you can connect your custom domain or use the free tilde subdomain. I will show it to you later when we see Tilda. Uh, now for the SEO, which is very important. Uh, so SEO is the search engine optimi optimization, which means um, that these settings are designed for your website to rank high on Google. So when people are searching for something similar to you, they should uh, they should look, yeah, they should, they should see you in the search results, right? See your website on the search results. And for these, um, some people hire SEO specialists, uh, SEO people that uh, check all the technical part and all the content part um, that will help uh, Google crawlers uh, to index page better. But until then, you can avoid hiring people because everything is quite uh, straightforward. We have an, an SEO guide and here is the list of uh, the essential uh, settings that you would need to help your page index better. So which is a friendly URL, right? The title and description of the page. This is the uh, snapshot of, a, um, of how your web page looks in the Google results, right? And tags and keywords, very important. Favicon, uh, it's a little icon which is uh, located just next to your website. Uh, and it all influences the, um, the Google uh, search results, right? The redirect so that your website um, works both with www and without that. Uh, the custom 404 error page, which is also nice to have thing. Uh, and then sitemap is auto-generated until you don't need to think about that. Then you have that SEO assistant uh, where you can actually see if you have any errors in terms of SEO um, on your on, in your project and tips on how to fix each of them, uh, which is a great tool. I think it, it really... Um, yeah, it takes away the, the work from the SEO specialists. Uh, partially uh, true, but it helps you to avoid also hiring other people in case you're just starting your business and you don't have a lot of means or, or, or time. Uh, this is a very helpful uh, thing. 
and uh, yeah and of course uh, yeah you can connect the Google search console to speed up the process of indexing of indexation right uh, now for the page load speed uh, you would uh, ask me if I am creating a multimedia project with a lot of animation a lot of visuals the page becomes very heavy so people need to wait till it's loaded and it's so annoying and so a lot of people can just bounce and um, close the page before actually the content is loaded so which is not the case uh, for tilda because we're working hard on um, increasing the page load speed and the results are uh, good so far uh, because we are using uh, all the latest technology uh, namely lazy load for example when content is being uploaded gradually as you scroll down the page the content delivery network meaning that um, we have a network of service around the world and um, the closest service to the, the closest server to the person who accesses um, your website is delivering the content which saves the time as well then all the images are converted automatically to webp is next gen uh, file format um, which also makes them lighter and adaptive image resizing uh, is another technology uh, that is used to uh, speed up the page load speed Right. Okay. So before jumping into Tilda and showing you uh, everything hands on, let me check if you have any questions. Uh -huh. Could you make custom domain on the free version? Very good question. So uh, I'm just now going to uh, show you the three main subscription plans on Tilda and the free version. Uh, no, you cannot use the custom domain on the free version, but you can use the free Tilda subdomain. Another question, I have a question about domain. Okay, in personal version, can you support with domain registration? Right, so about the domain registration. Um, if you have a tilde personal plan, you can use custom domains. The only thing is that you need to use the uh, domain registrar elsewhere. So you need to buy the domain from the registrar and there are many of them, it's just, you just Google and it's five minutes, I think you already bought it. It doesn't even cost a lot. It's, uh, yeah, you can buy it for $10 per, per year. Uh, and then once you got this uh, this domain, you can uh, connect it to Tilda, to the Tilda website. And we have a very, um, a very detailed guide on how to buy the domains, how to uh, modify and set set them up for Tilda. Uh, this, yes, of course, we do have, and I will show you a bit later where you can find it. Okay. Other, other, otherwise, uh, you can always go to Tilda Help Center and ask these questions over there, uh, just in the search box. I mean, and we have a lot of different, um, yeah, a lot of uh, articles on different questions that you may have about Tilda. Now, let's go to the Tilda website. So this is the main page of Tilda, which is Tilda CC, where you are supposed uh, to sign up or log in if you already have an account. By the way, if you, if, if any of you have the account on Tilda, please uh, tell me in the chat that I have an account or I don't have an account. I'm very curious if people here uh, already Tilda users are not. So please let me know. Uh, right, so this is Tilda CC and you have the link in the description of this video, the registration link, so you can always uh, go there and check it out. Um, so here on the upper right corner, you can either log in or sign up. I'll show you how to sign up. So to sign up, uh, you just need to enter three things, your name, which I will put Elizabeth, your email address. Uh, um, yeah, we'll just put uh, something like that um, and yeah, come with a password. Uh, so I'll just put a, a random password. No, I'm not a robot. Sign up and we are in. So this is what you see uh, as soon as you register on Tilda. A prompt to create a new website, All right? Uh, so if you close this tab, then you see a prompt to try till the personal plan for free and it's a very nice idea to uh, proceed with this uh, prompt and go uh, manage your plan so here what you have is a, an opportunity to have two weeks of till the personal plan for free but what is still the personal you would ask so let me just uh, very briefly give you an overview of three uh, basic plans on tilda first of all is a free free lifetime plan 
every tilde user has a free plan forever which uh, allows you to create one website with 50 pages in inside no 50 inner pages uh, having 50 megabyte of storage for your content and um, so basically you will have the access to um, the selected blocks let's say all the essential blocks including zero block you won't be able to connect your custom domain but you will be able to use the tilde free subdomain okay and uh, yeah and basically uh, you won't be able to create for example an online store or um, you won't be able to use some of, of uh, the built-in services but you will be able to create a nice uh, a simple page or 50 pages uh, of that matter um, uh, yeah for for yourself for example a little personal portfolio or a CV or uh, yeah an HR maybe um, uh, page and so I mean it's up to you I will not think uh, yeah of, of types of projects you can create but you can create uh, some of the basic uh, websites with the free plan then switching to the second personal plan uh, here you have the access to all of the fun of the of the features of the of the platform so meaning you can do any types of projects uh, online stores using product catalog using feeds for blogging uh, using payment set, uh, set uh, payment systems integrations collecting user data and so on and so forth right also very important you can connect your custom domain on the personal plan and you can benefit from having one website with 500 pages this time instead of 50 on the free plan with one gigabyte of storage right and uh, of course you have the access to all the blocks in the library okay and the business plan this comes also of course with all the features included included in the personal plan but here you can create up to five websites so five different websites five different domains with 500 pages each uh, in inside of each project right and also you have a possibility of the code export so in case you want to export your project create it on tilde to another server of yours you can do this with the business plan then important thing is that you can either um, subscribe to tilde on a monthly basis or annually and if you choose this letter option so if you if you buy the annual uh, subscription then you can um, you can make your website without the label so what is the label is a little footer um, at the very bottom of your of your pages uh, with the uh, with the tilde so um, if I can mm, I wanted to show you, uh, but uh, mm -hmm. for example, if we go here, yes, so this is at the very end, you see made on tilde, uh, this black um, label. So this label will be on your websites in case you uh, choose the monthly subscription. It's not very mm, uh, bright or whatever, but just for you to know, uh, and you can take it away in case you uh, opt for the annual subscription. So this is about payments and, and plans. And if you have questions, uh, very welcome to ask. Uh, I have a question here. Um, mm -hmm. How is good security against cyber attacks? Yeah, so we have um, on Tilda, all the websites are uh, protected by default against DDoS, uh, so-called attacks, cyber attacks. And we guarantee you the, uh, the security from these kind of things um, as well as the uh, personal data is quite secured and we are yeah, GDPR compliant and things like that obviously uh, as well so yeah um, the websites are pretty much uh, secured now tilde is too expensive they and they're saying well uh so the personal plan is uh ten dollars per month which is uh compared to other um, options i would say it's on the lower um yeah on the on the lower side of the of the uh, price range that you may have um but then of course yes i understand that um everyone is is different and also yeah for those who are for example working for the ngos we have a program which is a monthly program a monthly grant for the ngos where we give uh give away five annual subscriptions for ngos for free every month so it's just you can uh, google the um, npo 
uh, till the grant. Um, and here you go, till the grant for nonprofit organizations. You can apply for the grant and we'll be more than happy to provide you with a annual a subscription. Right, now, if you have any more questions, please mm, use the chat. Um, so what I suggest you to do as a, as a new, as a new Tilda user is to activate this two week Tilda personal plan. So you just click activate and, um, yes, now it's, it's on. And now you have the access to all the, all the blogs uh, of the library, etc., etc. So here is, um, the Tilda interface. And let me just, um, uh, show you some of the major things that you want to know. First of all, is this tab uh, on top, uh, the dashboard. Dashboard tab is the main tab where you're going to spend the most time, uh, probably uh, while working on Tilda. So here again, creating a new website. Uh, let's create a new website. So I would say, uh, my website, March 21, um, create. And now we are inside of the website. All right, and there are some of the tool tips uh, that are here um, explaining what is what, uh, but I will explain you better than them. Uh, so we are inside of a, of, a, of a project and here we can create pages. So there are two levels of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, assets that you create until there is a, a website, which is if you go back to the dashboard, so this, um, uh, this white card represents a, a website. Right. And if you click on it, in it, uh, you have the, um, you, we are inside of the website and we can create new pages, right? Uh, before creating new pages, um, here is a prompt for us to, uh, change or verify our email address. So this is something necessary for every till the user to do, to verify your email address. It's the only thing that has to be verified, like no credit card, uh, as, as you could see to activate the um, the trial version, you don't need to enter any payment details or anything, but the only thing is, uh, your email address must be confirmed or verified in order to publish pages. All right. Uh, now here on the, uh, lower right corner, we have a question mark widget, which is a very useful thing, especially if you're just starting working with Tilda, because here you can enter any question or keyword, for example, the domain. Now you were asking me about the domain. Um, and, uh, and here you have the shortcut to the, basically to the, uh, help center. Um, how do you connect the custom domain? And here is a quick answer. You see, this is a quick, uh, quick guide that I mentioned before of, uh, connecting your custom domain to the tilde. And also here, uh, you can, uh, check some, some of the video tutorials in case you have in mind a project, for example, an online store or how to work with zero block, etc., etc. Okay. Uh, and in case, uh, you didn't find the question, the answer to your question, uh, you can also check our help center, which is here under this button here, help center. Uh, this is what it looks like. Um, the help center with plenty of categories, a lot, a lot of, uh, useful guides and articles and help center is available by the way, uh, in eight different languages, as you can see here, uh, including, uh, Japanese, uh, Brazilian, Portuguese, uh, Spanish, German, English, obviously, uh, French, Polish, and Italian. Okay. And they're all the categories, um, including, yeah. yeah. Basically, uh, we, we, we like to say that 99% and 99% of the questions that you may have as a new Tilda user uh, are covered uh, in, in our help center. And for this uh, remaining 1%, you can con contact our support. Uh, how to do that? Uh, you click again on this question mark um, widget and click this button, send us a message. And then you uh, go directly to the ticketing system and you send a message to our support team. So now, um, before creating a new page, I would like to switch to another account. Uh, why? Because I would not, uh, take your time by verifying this email address for this new account. Okay. So I will just click and, uh, yeah, this is my other account. Um, let me just yeah, log out from that one. And here, here I will show you actually how to create a website. So we start a new website again. I would put my website March 21. 
And now I will click this create new page button. Right. So when you create a new page, every time you create a new page, you um, you can choose uh, between two options. Either to start from the template, the pre-designed template, and here is a gallery of the templates. They're all free and you can have a quick look at them or you can see the preview and scroll down and see what is it about. Right. You can also search. Uh, using keywords, for example, if you want to uh, create a portfolio, you search portfolio and then you have 25 different portfolio website templates, right? Or you can also uh, check the categories, online store, event, blog, contacts. Pro, the category pro is, uh, yeah, it consists of the, of the templates that are made using zero block. So all the custom design. Um, and it's cool because if you are, yeah, if you know some things about design, but not very confident about them, but you want to go a bit further, you know, than uh, just using only pre-designed blocks, you can start from one of the templates that was already created by uh, on zero blocks, and then modify a little bit and 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 get a nice, uh, nice, very shining or vibrant uh, website, right? Uh, so this is one of the options to start from the template. Another option is to start from the blank page, right? Starting from scratch and then add the blocks from the library uh, or zero blocks or both um, on your own. Important thing to keep in mind is that you should not be uh, afraid of starting from the template and then changing your mind and mixing and matching your own design and the template design. Because templates, all the templates, they also consist of blocks. So you see this is, for example, the, the first block, the cover page, then about our company block, and our services, and all the blocks are modifiable, including uh, the fact that you can uh, hide them or delete them and add new blocks uh, instead. So this uh, gives you all the freedom to mix and match templates or to mix templates and your own designs, etc., etc. So if you start a template, you're not linked or you're not uh, uh, obliged to publish your website exactly uh, uh, with this template design, right? It's just a, like a starting point for you. Okay, so let's let's pick any template like uh, this one, for example, and uh, uh, and click this page, uh, this uh, button, create page. Uh, this brings us to the page editor, and let's see what we have here in terms of the navigation. So on top, you have the button to go back to the dashboard to see the the full list of our projects and of our of our uh, uh, pages inside of the project. Then and this is the name of the project and this little uh, arrow allows us to add new pages right away from here uh, within this project. Then on the right, we have the preview button, which allows us to uh, have a quick view of the website. Let me just click it and show it to you. Um, the cool thing about it, it is um, you, you, you should use, I think, preview when you are um, creating the web page and are not sure that you're finished, but you want to check how the newly created block or element looks uh, live, let's say, looks uh, on the website, right? So you check it out, but then the good thing is that also in the preview mode, you can switch here in the lower lo uh, left corner between different screens. So you can have a uh, an idea of how your website looks on the mobile page, on the mobile um, screen, right? On a on a tablet and you can see that all of those blocks which are the uh, pre-designed blocks from the library they adapt their design on their own right uh, automatically so you see here about us uh, section looks like this but on the mobile version it's uh, its layout is vertical right so it's cool uh, to to check the next button is publish uh, it's when you're ready to publish your website uh, then the settings, help center again, and uh, some of the uh, more advanced settings that I will show you in a bit. Now, to modify the blocks and how to understand actually when one block finishes and an another one begins, well, this is quite uh, in intuitive, as I, as, I, as I told you, because, for example, when you hover over this first menu block, which is a very narrow black block 
on top of the page. You can see this plus button that divides this block from the next one, which is the uh, cover page uh, or hero section, let's say. And it marks uh, the, the difference. Uh, it marks the border in between two blocks, right? So in between blocks, you can uh, click this plus button, which actually opens uh, the block library. The block library is the, um, the collection of all the blocks uh, divided by categories that you can use for your website and for your content. So what you have here, you have cover um, uh, covers, so plenty, plenty of different designs. And to choose the right one, you need to not only pay attention to the design, but my tip for you will be to also pay attention on uh, the elements that the the block has. For example, here you can see that there is one button. Here there, is, there are no buttons. So if you know that you need to have a button on your cover, probably you would rather go for the uh, blocks containing the buttons already rather than uh, this kind of more artistic ones, right? Then uh, about us, um, uh, different types of blocks, the galleries, uh, forms, the online forms to collect the user data, right? Buttons, all kinds of buttons that you uh, can think of. Um, columns, yes, yeah, just a different design, um, pre-designed layouts for you to uh, put a lot of text on your page. Menu different menus. The store category is for those who are creating online stores for e-commerce, right? The shopping cart, the payment system, the favorites and the product cards, um, et cetera, et cetera. So videos, uh, reviews, client reviews, right? Services, social media, very important social media uh, category to add your uh, links to the social media accounts, right? Pressing plans in case you're um, uh, selling something that comes like tilde with different pricing plans, right? News and feeds, this is for the feeds uh, section and other uh, which are more advanced um, blocks. Uh, so yes, uh, you can just click on the block and it will be added right here. Then what you can do with a uh, newly added block or the block that was already there, it doesn't matter. Um, so here, Every time that you hover over the block, on the left, on the um, upper left corner, you have the name of the block and a possibility to switch quickly um, between the layouts within one category. So between blocks within the cover category. If I suddenly realize that I need another layout, I can quickly do that. And I can decide whether to keep or not the content on switch. Uh, so if I keep, uh, yeah, you see. We switched to another design type, but my content remained the same. Uh, if I did something that I don't like, I can always undo uh, using this undo button. Okay, and we are back to the initial um, design. Now, uh, we have the settings and the content um, buttons uh, next to uh, the name of the block. Settings button is all about, is, they're all the settings for the uh, appearance of the block and the content is for the content. But before we go there, I want to show you how you can uh, modify the contents right on the layout. So you can just um, um, type the text uh, by clicking on the text and typing. Uh, and then once you do that, uh, you have a toolbar uh, on top with uh, all the necessary and yeah, quite uh, typical, something that you're familiar with, most probably, uh, tool set for text editing, right? Where you can modify the font size, choose the font family, uh, line height, make the text blah, uh, uh, bold or italic and so on, right? Then once you've finished with uh, editing the text, for example, what do you do to save it? So there is no such button as save when you're uh, modifying the page on the layout until it, because there is no need to save everything is saved automatically but to to save what you have just uh, created or modified you just click on any on any um, anywhere outside of this uh, text box so again i change the text and then i click here and it's saved right if i want to undo undo i can do this using this button same story for the um, for the description. Uh, no, this block is a cover block. Uh, yeah, you just modify it, and you can make uh, you can get bigger like that. Uh, you, 
and you can yeah, play with the text as much as you want. Um, very good. So uh, then we have also in this cover page a background image, right? Uh, how do we change the background images? Well, one possibility is just drag and drop. So basically, uh, let me see if I have a, any nice image, for example, here. I have an image from my computer, right? So I hold it, I drag and drop it, and it's there. Okay, this is one of the one of the possibilities. I will undo this. Uh, and then another possibility is to go to the content tab. And here you can, again, drop files to upload an, uh, an image or search for photos. If you click here, search photos, you will get into the image resources. So these are the resources uh, free, both free and paid for you. Um, handpicked uh, by Tilda team that helps you to uh, quickly find royalty free um, images to use for your projects. Okay, and there is a, a quick uh, description of each service quality photo and video collection, for example, with 3 million royalty free visuals for commercial use. So, here from Pexels, you can pick any picture and use it for your commercial website, right? Or uh, icons 8, it's for icons and unsplash for high resolution photos, etc. etc. So, in case you don't have the photos or good quality photos yet for your website, or you cannot afford the, mm, the, the, the photo shooting right away, or you cannot afford to hire an illustrator to make an illustration for you, you can always find a way to uh, get a free but a good quality free uh, visual. And yeah. Uh, don't hesitate and use these image resources uh, recommended by Tilda. Yes, another thing for the icons, there is also a Tilda icons, which is a, a built-in collection of icons created by our designers that you can use for free for your websites as well. Okay, and here it is. Right, so this is uh, regarding changing the, the background images and also you can upload the background video uh, for this year, it's just uh, yeah, you just paste the link to the video on the YouTube or uh, or Vimeo or a link to your server where where, where you get the video uh, because we don't store video, so you don't actually upload the video file until there. Otherwise, your website will be too heavy and too slow. But you use the use rather links to the videos. Okay, so here you can save and close. And then in the settings panel, what you have here? So the settings are obviously they are different. Um, the set of settings uh, is different for each block depending on the um, on the features of this of this block, right? So here we have a uh, an image, and then for the image we have a filter um, that deems a little bit the image so that the text becomes legible. So for example, if I take away the uh, opacity of this filter. Uh, you can see the image way better, but the text is very different, uh, difficult to read, right? So that's why you have this uh, filter thing where you can also modify the color and modify the opacity. Uh, in other blocks that don't come with the with the image, of course, you will not have this setting. Um, then you have a background scroll effect, which is a slight animation already. Uh, parallax or fixed. So if you have a parallax. You can see the difference on scroll or if we fix the picture, the picture is fixed, the image, I mean, the background image is fixed. And then when we scroll, the text is scrolled um, uh, and it creates kind of a dynamic movement on, on the page. Right, the alignment, yeah, we can modify the alignment, uh, put the uh, text to the bottom, top of the middle, um, etc. Then for the typography is a very important uh, thing for any website to have a very unified, nice typography. Um, here are all the settings for the typography, where you can change uh, the font for the title and for the description, the background video as well. Here you decide if to loop it or not, animation settings, and so on. Then for the SEO, the title tag is very important to have the H1 title tag uh, for each page, but not more than one. Uh, so H1, actually what it does, it uh, communicates to the Google crawlers, to the Google robots that actually index the page that this is the major headline, the major heading of the page. The page is about this. 
and uh, and then it helps Google to categorize the website, All right? And some other uh, some other uh, settings for the paddings and so on. So we save and close, and basically you have to do um, this kind of modifications for each blog. For example, on the menu, you go to the content and you change the menu items over here you see this completely different set of settings here because we have a logo as well we can upload it we can change the menu items change the links to the menu items right um so you you create it um, um based based on your needs right and it's changed automatically here very quickly uh for example if you don't need a block uh, here we uh created another cover page uh, cover block so we don't need another one what you can do so you can either um, hide it which is a, a cool thing if in case you have a block that you're not using at the moment for example the season um, special deals right uh, that you would know that you would only use it when the next holiday is about to come uh, but you don't really want to delete the blog because it was already um, nicely designed and you spend, spend some time on that so what you can do you can just hide it like that so that people when you publish the page uh, it is not visible for your uh, website visitors but then once you need it back you can always show it again and in the editor editor um, update it and start using it on the website after publishing uh, either you can also of course delete the block uh, duplicate it uh, cut copy paste and select so basic basic settings for the elements uh, or you can move it up and down here using these two arrows like that along the page right so but i will delete this uh, block we don't need it and let me show you what uh, happens when you click this button which is called publish so when you click publish uh, the first prompt from tilde is to set the site address on the tilde subdomain so what uh, i was mentioning the subdomain for several times and this is actually what it looks like you have the custom part of your website for example the travel uh, guide uh, 2023 and then after that customized part of yours there is this uh, uh, this part which is the subdomain dot tilde dot ws which remains with your uh, website address which is important to know it does not um, affect the SEO it does not affect the indexation it doesn't make your website look uh, lame or whatever uh, no not at all so you can totally go with the subdomain uh, but in case you want to um, to buy the uh, the custom uh, the custom domain address, address you can always do this of course so you save and continue and then the page is published and you basically can uh, open it and check it out uh, this is what it looks like all right so that's basically the uh, process of creating a uh, your page until then as well you can change the text uh, about me for example <clears throat> and so on. so if you have any questions about the uh, page editor please don't hesitate and ask them in the chat i will check uh, the latest comments here best platform i love it thank you very much uh, for such kind words uh, and i have a question here do paid plans include website hosting so do I have to create my website, purchase a domain, and if I'm on a paid plan, I don't have to hire hosting for my website, like Hostinger, for example. That's exactly the case. You don't need any hosting, hosting, <laughs> sorry, hosting until that. This is not necessary. You just need to buy the custom domain. And for the rest, everything is on the cloud. Uh, so you don't need uh, to worry about any hosting platform. Uh, all the content is on the cloud until that and it's, uh, yeah. Uh, it's safe there all right uh, very well so now uh, once you finish let's say the design part of your website or of your web page um, what is next so the next thing is uh, you go to this uh, page settings let me show you here uh, first of all how our mm, the the look of the project 
how did it change when we added a page remember there was nothing here now we have a a page and this is one of the pages we can create more for example if i create a new page and i would start from uh, scratch uh, i will just add a text and a zero block which i will show you in a couple of uh, in a couple of moments All right and then i go back to my uh, website so here is another page that we just added now, before publishing, uh, my advice for you is to go through the uh, website settings, uh, web, web page settings, sorry. And it's very important not to confuse the website settings and the web page settings, because this, these are the site settings and they applied, um, they are applied to all uh, the entire website, basically, meaning to all the pages, right? And then each page has its own set of settings, which is important for the indexation. What are the main, the crucial settings uh, that you want to uh, modify? So the title, the description, and the URL of the page mandatory for the Google results because this is what people will see in the Google search results, right? So this is the page uh, name, this is URL, and this is the description. Um, it's a good idea to use some keywords there, but don't over um, overuse it uh yes so the page title description url then page what is a page page is basically the image um uh, on the page that will be used for example when your page is shared on social like that so if you um, put your web page on facebook right or on twitter this is the display uh of it and if you forget to upload a badge or Actually, if you forget to upload a page, it's not a bad, it's not a, a cat catastrophe because uh, Tilda will automatically use the first image of your website as a page. But it's always better, of course, to take it under control and upload your custom file, All right? Then you can uh, uh, set up the uh, social share preview uh, separately. So you can uh, add a separate title description and page for the social media share which will be different from uh, those for the, for google for search engines right um then here is the uh, search results preview uh setting which also can be customized right the export tab uh, allows you to export the page as a zip file okay or open page code then uh, under actions, uh, what you can do with the page, you can actually transfer the page to another user on Tilda. It's totally possible. You can duplicate the page. You can move page to another project in case you have several projects uh, on, your, on your account, or you can delete the page. And then under additional, you have uh, a lot of different settings such as labels and comments for the page. Uh, these are the comments that you can leave to yourself, like notes, little notes. Uh, for example, this page is live or this page is under construction and so on. So this is not for the uh, uh, website visitors, just only for you. Uh, then you can unpublish the page here in case you don't want it to be live anymore. You can see the page statistics uh, differently from the website statistics, right? And some other things. Good. So you cha uh, save changes. Excuse me. Um, and then you can republish the page. And I advise you to uh, get this habit of republishing the page every time you modify something until then, because this is how your modifications go into action. No, they 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 become visible. Now, uh, this is what it has to do with the page settings. Now, let me just show you um, what is zero block. So we have said, we have um, uh, checked the, the block library, these pre-designed responsive blocks that you can use to create your website from. But there is also a, um, a zero block that, to add a zero block actually, you can add it from the block library, it's here in the very bottom, or you can scroll down the page and here will be another uh, opportunity for you to add a zero block. So once you added it, uh, you can see here the block editor uh, button appears instead of the content and the settings are still there but the number of settings is very limited which is the paddings and the background color so in order to uh, modify the zero block I click the block editor and I actually uh, find myself in the 
in the in the zero block editor right uh, which uh, looks a little bit like a graphics editor and let me just give you a very quick overview of what you have here uh, by the way if some of you are sure that you're not going to use zero block ever uh, let me know and if you think that you are very much interested into this also let me know in the chat and if you have very specific questions about zero block it's time to ask them right but for the moment so here you can freely move the objects right you can modify the um, the height of the block you can make basically entire page out of one zero block which i don't suggest you to do uh, because then you have less flexibility but you, in case you want you can do that you can modify uh, the text just like that you can delete elements okay so there are shapes as well um, which can be uh, modified the, the color as well to modify the element so you you click on the element to select it and then you go here to the lower right corner and you click settings so settings button opens up the settings for this specific element okay so for example what can you do with the shape you can change it to be a circle for example or a line okay and then you can change its color and make it blue for example uh, and so on and the opacity as well uh, right then if you uh, take this image uh, element uh, it allows you to upload a file into it and so you can drag and drop and upload uh, i will upload the same file here uh, and you upload a file uh, and then you got the image yeah i chose a very heavy file which is not a good uh, thing for a website but anyway then for the title for the text blocks what you can do with it it's still being uploaded uh, you can change its uh, arrangement uh, you can also change uh, the color of course uh, the size uh, typeface right you can make it tilde sans uh, decide how bold it is or maybe light one okay put it in the center this one I would put in the center as well. Um, something like that. Uh, then to add a new element, uh, you want to use this plus button on top, uh, on uh, top left corner. And this is the uh, list of the elements that you can add in zero block. So text image shape button, for example, let me show you. So this is what the button looks like. And I would like to change its background color very quickly here you set the url and uh, here we can put the discover right and this is the button um then what else a tool tip the html code by the way uh, there is also a possibility to add any html code uh using the html block uh in the standard library in the pre-designed blocks library Okay, you can also add online form gallery and the vector, uh, something that I wanted to share with you very quickly. It's a latest feature that was just added a um, couple of weeks ago on Tilda, the vector editor. So you double click on a vector and here you can basically modify uh, the vector. Uh, you can change its color, uh, take away the stroke, uh, right, and then draw your own vectors with the draw tool right so you can you can draw whatever you like um, and modify your vectors with the band tool so make it a little bit like that and and yeah basically create illustrations shapes um, and uh, many more uh, so that that gives you if you're a designer it gives you enormous amount of um, of freedom uh, freedom from other graphic editors right um, and yes so something like that and it makes your website actually look uh, more uh, more special I would say yeah like individual so you save and close for example like that uh, and then you can use layers which is um, I would use the shortcut, but you can also go here and, and de decide if you want to hide the show, show layers. And the layers, they allow you to modify the arrangement of the, uh, of the elements. 
right and I would put the opacity a little bit lower uh, and I would yes something like that for example and oops and you can do some yeah Uh, you can do some custom designs. Um, so this is the uh, the zero block, uh, allowing you to create custom um, custom blocks. Then uh, the last thing about zero block is the manual uh, manual adaptation. So you can adapt the layout uh, manually to different screens. What do I mean? So this is the the view of the block. For the desktop, right? Uh, but then, if you if you switch to the smaller screen, you can still modify the design for this specific screen, right? So you can take away some of the elements for the mobile version, for example, or you can make the text obviously smaller, uh, and some elements uh, can take up all the screen, for example, uh, like this, etc., uh, etc. Et so it's up to you to decide what is the mm, the mobile version. Uh, look will be for your for your website you save and close and we can have a preview this is the preview of the desktop version and this is the preview of the mobile version that we have just created on zero block right I can see that you have I uh, know oh there is another question yes I'm really interested in zero block Nice. Sadly, Tilda is entirely aimed at the, uh, at the Russian speaking audience. I would like to know if or when they will create content related to zero block in English. Oh, yeah. Well, this is not actually uh, true at all. Uh, uh, first of all, all the zero block um, interface is entirely in English, as well as the interface of Tilda. Uh, but uh, if you're talking about these uh, tutorials and help center articles or um, uh, long reads uh, about uh, zero blog they're all available in English and actually the English speaking content now in, in Tilda is as big as in other languages uh, so where you can uh, check it out you can check it out on our YouTube channel uh, precisely the one that you're watching this uh, webinar uh, from now uh, I will just show you uh, no uh, maybe maybe later yeah you, you can you can check it yourself so it's a uh, Tilda uh, until the website builders our um, channel right uh, on YouTube and then we have tutorials and there you have a lot of tutorials about zero block otherwise you can uh, access them right from your tilde account uh, using this uh, question mark uh, widget again uh, going here video tutorials and there is a zero block tutorial that brings you directly uh, to the uh, zero block uh, tutorial in English everything is in English uh, on the YouTube right and then here are some articles about this zero block uh, about responsive design animation creating your own blocks in the tilde help center okay uh, including this zero block tutorial and then a lot of things this is basically the guide uh, the guide for zero block uh, which is available, yeah, again, I will uh, repeat that Help Center is available not only in English, but also in German, in Spanish, in Portuguese, in uh, French, Polish, Italian, and Japanese. Okay, so I hope that uh, this helps. Uh, very good. Oh, yeah, the YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, the YouTube channel is, is, is entirely in English, uh, and all the uh, tutorials are in English and the webinars as well. Very nice. So um, another thing I wanted to share is the uh, a quick overview of the website settings, right? So we said that there are, there are settings for each page and we have covered what settings are important. Um, uh, and then there, there are also site settings. So what you actually uh, do uh, for the entire website. The website title is just for you. It's only used on Tilda, the description as well. The custom subdomain is something you can change any time, as you can see here. So in case uh, when you are publishing your page for the first time, you made a mistake, it's not a problem at all, because until you can always come back and redo anything you have done before, including the layout. So don't worry if you publish the page accidentally uh, and then you want to change something, you can go 
uh, and change it immediately, republish, and it's going to be instantly uh, up updated. Okay, then fonts and colors. This is another interesting thing for those interested in uh, design. So until you can either uh, use one of the um, uh, fonts that are already uh, here in our built-in library, which are very nice selected uh, fonts, including our uh, tilde, Sa tilde Sans fonts, uh, signature type fonts. But also you can click on this custom settings uh, button and use fonts from Google fonts from Adobe and upload your own font files. Okay, so this is, and this option is available also for the free subscription, which is quite cool. Now, the home page, uh, this is something that you just have to uh, select a home page out of the list and save changes because if no, uh, no pages are uh, selected as a home page, then your website will not work. Uh, this is a technical necessity, but by default, the first page that you uh, that you publish becomes your home page, and you can always change it here. The domain once you have bought a domain, you put its uh, domain address here, and if you don't know how to do that, how to buy the domain or how to connect it to Tilda, here is a uh, a guide how to buy a domain name. Again, to the help center, which uh, with the step-by-step -step instructions uh, and guides for uh, different domain registrars. Um, and here is uh, the custom domains um, to learn more. So this is the guide to what is custom domain in general, how to connect it uh, to Tilda website. Right. Uh, then the analytics is when you want to che check the uh, performance of your page. You go here and you can see the website statistics. Mm, uh, yeah, I will not. Okay, I will save changes, and I will go to the tilde stats, which will not be a lot because we just uh, we just published uh, our page. Uh, but here, yeah, you have an idea at least of uh, what it looks like. You see with the page views, sessions, popular pages, uh, traffic, etc. And a separate tab for online store. So in case you have online store, there is a separate statistics uh, set. Uh, right, back to site statistics. Uh, we were in analytics. Uh, you can click, connect the Google Analytics tracking ID, uh, Google Tag Manager as well, Facebook Pixel, etc. For SEO settings, uh, you can set up the HTTPS uh, secure protocol. Uh, so the SSL certificate, which is very uh, useful uh, nowadays so that your website is open as an HTTPS, not HTTP, uh, because otherwise some of the browsers would uh, uh, protect uh, their users from uh, opening your website. So it's better to do it and it's done very easily. Uh, you can just, uh, yeah, you do it in one click once you connect the, um, the custom domain. But if you're using the subdomain, as I'm doing now, the tilde subdomain, uh, then it's even easier because you just need to do the, uh, the redirect from HTTP to HTTPS, save it, close it, save changes, and then let's have a look. Our website is available uh, with the HTTPS, um, with the secure protocol in one click, in one second. Um, nice. Then for the export, uh, it's here. You can export the website and you can do the API integration in case you need it. Uh, then the forms tab allow you to, uh, um, allows you to uh, connect the data collection services in case you have online forms and you're collecting user data on your website. So what you have here, the email, the Google Sheets, uh, Telegram, Trello, then different CRMs, uh, including Tilda CRM, um, HubSpot, Salesforce, Monday.com, and then email marketing services such as MailChimp, uh, SendGrid, Unisender, etc., and some other additional services, Slack, Zapier, uh, Notion, etc. All right, the payment systems are here, so you can uh, connect Stripe to check out, also PayPal and allow, allow uh, people to pay cash on delivery, upon delivery, right, to do the bank transfer. And also, in case you have a payment system and you want to use it for Tilda, but it's not integrated yet, you can ask your developers to use this custom payment gateway option 
and to create uh, the link uh, between your payment system and Tilda yourself. So it's, it's, it's very much possible. Header and footer, uh, this is the section where you can uh, set a, a, a special, you can create a page with a header that will be used for all of the pages of your website in case you have a lot of pages. Uh, and same thing for the footer so that if you change something in your header, you don't need to go through uh, your 50 pages and change uh, the header 50 times. You just change it once and republish the pages and everything is there automatically. Right there under actions, so you can create, transfer the website as well as you can transfer the page to another user or delete the website. Then permissions is uh, for those people who want to password protect uh, published pages, okay, or give access to only specific IP addresses, for example, only to your colleagues in the office. Uh, membership is a nice uh, thing that uh, I invite you to. Uh, <laughs> Uh, to actually to uh, come to our webinar in two weeks where I will be talking uh, on how to create the online uh, courses using this uh, members area feature on Tilda. Uh, but in brief, this feature allows you to create um, the login space and personal accounts for your uh, clients. Okay, the collaborators, this feature is, uh, it allows you to uh, basically to do the teamwork uh, to work on one project, uh, being a team of several people. Um, yeah, it, so it's to share the access to your project to other Tilda users, right? And under more, you have more settings like Favicon, the platform label, which you can uh, cha uh, change the, uh, uh, the color, right? Uh, to define the 404 error page in case you have a special uh, design for it. Right, and some other questions, oh, some other uh, settings, uh, sorry, for example, the Google Maps I API key, in, in case you use the Google Maps for your website, the Google domain verification, and, and more. Uh, and here is the, um, also a, a little panel to modify the product catalog and the feeds. The feeds uh, is the blogging tool and the product catalog, the e-commerce tool, but I did not receive any questions about them. So perhaps I would not uh, go into them uh, now, uh, but I would rather suggest you to check our tutorials on our YouTube channel uh, in English uh, about uh, both. We have a tutorial and some webinars about online stores and about blogging using feeds on Tilda. Right. So since it's the overview, I think we uh, we had a nice overview uh, of the of the platform and its capabilities. Uh, so just a couple of uh, last uh, things. Let me share with you that uh, you can also use some other um, services within the the Tilda um, umbrella, let's say, uh, which are all for free. Uh, for example, the com campaign URL builder, uh, which will help you to create the UTM tags for your links to then track their performance. Then the icon library that I have mentioned previously, you can uh, download the SVG files, you know, the, all the icons that there are 700 uh, plus icons for very uh, re a very wide uh, variety of uh, topics uh, and they're available to uh, be downloaded as SVG files. Uh, then color and gradient library, this is for you if you're uh, in search of the uh, color palette for your website and broken link checker which is a very nice tool that allows you to check your website uh, for the links that are broken, meaning the links that don't work anymore, and they actually also negatively affect the SEO, the uh, Google index indexation, and, and, and uh, how well your page performs uh, in Google search results. Uh, now, yeah, so uh, just to finish, I want to invite you, yes, to take part in our events. Uh, follow this link, webinars.tilde.cc slash en, and there you will find the upcoming webinar uh, about the online courses. So in case you're into uh, e-learning or uh, thinking about creating uh, something like that, uh, a learning platform, please do follow, do register, and um, I will be happy to see you uh, in two weeks on our live free webinar.
Uh, and of course, yes, uh, follow us on social media. Uh, so one of the questions was, uh, where can we get more information in English? So exactly here, until the social media, we're publishing uh, almost daily, uh, especially we are active on Instagram, on Twitter, on, um, on YouTube as well, of course, uh, on Facebook, LinkedIn, we have a chat and Telegram. Uh, and yes, you're very much welcome to follow us and we are giving some design tips, uh, design advice, um, uh, digital marketing uh, tips and uh, little lessons, let's say. So it's partially uh, educational content, but also, of course, we are showing the updates until the end. Yeah, telling you how, how you can use the platform to create uh, projects for yourself. With this, if there are no more questions, um, let us know if this was useful. So use the comment section. Uh, if you're watching this webinar in recording, please use the comment section for all the questions. We will come back to them and answer all of them, I promise. Uh, and also, yes, uh, thumbs up will be appreciated in case you like the webinar. In case not, uh, please use the comment section to explain us why. And uh, join, yes, yeah, subscribe to our channel again. We'll be very happy to see you uh, in our upcoming webinars uh, and on our social media. So thanks again. Thank you for using Tilda. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for being with us this one hour and a half. And have a great evening, uh, day or morning, uh, wherever you are. Thank you. Bye.